Hi there, welcome to the Beaten Trail. In this episode, we take a ride up to Lake George for the ATV Poker Run, hosted by Duffy's Tavern. Only about three hours of a drive from the New Jersey area. We've been to Lake George before, but we never got a chance to ride any ATVs. Certainly not through town. We jumped on the chance and headed up to Lake George and the Poker Run. Hey there, we are here at the Fort Henry Hotel, Fort William Henry. I'm gonna stand corrected as I look at the sign. And we're here with the Grizzly, and we're ready for a little bit of riding tomorrow on the poker run. Yeah, not too much snow up here. It's 40 degrees here now, but it is gonna be 20 tomorrow. And so from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., which is why we're up here, is going to be the poker run, it is at Duffy's Tavern. 20 Amherst Street, Lake George. And so I'm going to take a walk down there. We're walking through Lake George, and there isn't too much going on this time of year. Walking up to Duffy's, we saw some boats in the water. And the town is open, gift shops and restaurants are open. The park where they held most of the Winter Carnival events, including the Wings Contest, is right next to Duffy's. We wanted to make sure we knew where to go and everything that we needed to have other than our printed ticket. The cost was $25. We were ready for the next morning, so we just wanted to make sure we knew where to go and we wanted to get something to eat. We had to have some delicious wings at Duffy's as well as onion rings that and a few drinks, and we were ready to take a walk back to the hotel to get our equipment ready for the next day. Every day in February, they do the Winter Carnival, including a poker run. The Beaten Trail is sponsored by Ride Royal Blue ATV Resort in Pioneer, Tennessee, where all of your Tennessee adventures begin. Lodging for any budget, bring your RV, or stay in a cabin. Trails are attached to the resort and not a far drive on ATV legal pavement. So stop down at Ride Royal Blue in Tennessee. We had a quick breakfast in the morning and we got the Grizzly loaded up and ready to go. A little bit of light snow and it was very cold. Felt like about six degrees. Up to Duffy's we went to get registered. We received our map with registration and we met up with a really cool group of local people, people who've had a little bit of experience in the ATV poker run in the past. We headed out in search of our seven tokens, each indicated with a cone and a bucket full of tokens, and as long as you had seven, you had a pretty good chance of picking seven cards in exchange for those tokens for a great poker hand and to win prizes. So we headed out into Lake George. found our next set of poker chips at a town building and looked for the cone and found the bucket in the rear of the building. It was a small group of individuals and not everyone traveled together so it wasn't overly crowded. We had less than a dozen people in our group.
And all these locations were not bars, they were landmarks. And so we were able to find this walkway over the highway, and we were able to get up there and get more poker chips. The adventure continued, and it was a great day out, even though it was cold, the sun was warm, and it was a great group of people. Normally, you're riding on the lake, which is ice-covered, as well as snow trails, but being that there was no ice or snow this year, the roadways were permitted, and this is the main means of how we got around for the poker run. Let's hope for more snow and ice next year. As we had stated, it was a chilly day, but the sun was warm enough, and if you were covered properly, you really didn't have any issues with temperature. Lake George did a great job of getting together and putting adequate parking for trailers and loading and unloading areas. This happened to be another location where there was a poker chip bucket, and we were able to stop there for a pit stop and also get a poker chip. with a small group here and everybody's having a good time thank you very much American Legion for putting out some food for us we do appreciate it so we left our donation and you should always leave a donation if you ever visit these guys thank you for your service doesn't matter if it's a VFW Hall or American Legion whatever it is so thank you again for being here and uh, yeah now it's just having a great time here at Lake George Winter Carnival we're going to speak with the people at Duffy's later today. But as of right now, we're going to get back on our rides and head back. We got all our poker chips, although I think some people ran out of tokens. So we have some poker chips here. And uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think I have enough. I was given a quarter because they ran out of, they ran out of poker chips. Someone took them off. But. Having a good time? Absolutely, baby. Awesome. Good time up here in Lake George, New York. Good, good. Yeah, good no. Nice, good friends, good beer, good time. Absolutely. With poker chips in hand, we headed into Duffy's and upstairs to the bar. Everybody was having lunch and drinks and having a great time. There was music and a band playing, so everybody was in a great mood. We located where everybody was handing in their chips and selecting their cards. Everything was done with one deck, so it took a little bit of time, but it was fair and it was organized very well. Once everybody had their cards, prizes were given out as well as gift cards. Uh, Linda Duffy, and I'm from Duffy's Tavern. Uh, I married the owner of Duffy's Tavern 27 years ago. Duffy's has been involved in Lake George Winter Carnival since uh, my husband's father, actually, years and years ago. So, I've been involved for many, many years. I started co-chairing, actually, back then. And we actually came up, had to come up with some new event because we didn't have ice. <laughs> so, one of those years we didn't have ice or snow. So. The uh, mayor opened up certain streets, back streets, for ATVs to drive on, and we were able to do some ATV activities. So that's when we started up with the poker run. 
Excellent. Good. Yeah. Obviously, the temperature determines the turnout as well as yeah. President's Week. Yeah. So we had varying levels of participation over yeah. the last couple of weeks. Yep, yep. And uh, this is the first year that we've done it every Saturday during Warner Carnival. Usually it's a two-minute weekend. So this year was the first time we've done it every Saturday. So, yeah, actually, no, I'm, I'm happy with the turnouts for all of them. I mean, obviously, the three-day weekend, the holiday weekend is always going to be the bigger one. Even today, I was, I was happy with the turnout. Yeah. For yeah, no, and it was planned very well. Yeah. And I know that if it was a little bit warmer, yeah. maybe some people would have come yeah, out, maybe, but maybe. it's still, we had a good amount. Everyone who participates, professional and good. And it looks like cooperation from the town and the yep. police. Yes, yep. Actually, they, uh, they even if you're, you know, if you, they see something that may be wrong, they, you know, they usually they'll, they'll tell you that it's wrong and be on your way unless you're being silly and, and not yeah. being very smart about your driving and then they may give you a ticket, but they're, yeah. they're actually very cooperative. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Excellent. Um, yeah. Anything else you want to mention? Anything new for next year, maybe? You know what? I don't know about next year yet. I'm sure we'll do it every Saturday again next year. And uh, Every Saturday in February. Every Saturday yeah. in February. I think it went well this year. Like I said, there wasn't many events that were able to be held because of no ice. So mm -hmm. this is one that we can do whether we have ice, snow, or, or not. So mm -hmm. come on up and plan on, a, plan on ATV poker run going on in a Saturday. Yeah. On a Saturday in February next year. Well, we, we didn't get a chance to sample the wings in the park, but your wings were awesome. Oh, I had some you. last night, thank so uh, I don't know who won this year, but I'm assuming that you'd be up there. On... Well, we, we were third, I hear, so what's, okay. I'm, I'm happy with three. I'm happy with third. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Well, thank you for taking yeah. the time to talk to us, and we thank look forward to for... coming next year. Thanks for coming over and participating. Thank you. Thank you. This is for you too. Did you do the po poker run? No. No? Okay. It was cold. It was cold. Yeah. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It said 18 degrees feels like six. I'm like, shit, it's gonna be cold. <laughs> How'd you like the Winter Carnival? Winter Carnival up here is awesome. Linda Duffy puts on one hell of a show. It's a great time, a lot of fun, a uh, lot of wheelers, a lot of, lot of good times. It's uh, come up to the Lake George, New York area and have, have fun at the Mocha Runs. State your names. My name is Ron Baldwin. Tiffany Sanborn. James Sanborn. Awesome. Norton. 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 What up? Norton, how'd you, how'd you, how'd you like the prize in the ride? I like it. <laughs> A knife. Good for hunting. Awesome. Yes, it was nice meeting Michael here who's sponsoring all this. It was a good time and uh, we always welcome new friends. And I, I really didn't sponsor this, but I'm filming. Well, no, you're, you're sponsoring the filming of it. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, yeah. No, good time and uh, Michael was well behaved today for anybody that knows him. I don't know how well behaved he usually is, but um, <laughs> he, he done well. We had a good time. Thank you. It was time to put the Grizzly away and to get out of our cold weather gear, but we would be back to meet up with our friends to do dinner, have drinks, and relax after a long day out on the roads. If you're up in Lake George, be sure to visit Duffy's Tavern. And if you're up there in the winter, the Winter Carnival is a great place to go every weekend in February. Thanks again, Duffy's, and we'll see you soon. Big thanks again to our sponsor, Ride Royal Blue. We appreciate them as well as all of our partners for being along for the ride. Be sure to get over to Lid Industries for the brightest rock lights you can find and check out some of our hats and shirts over at our merchandise page. Thanks again for watching and we hope to see you out there on the trail. Thanks. Stickers, I got stickers. Yep. Hotter than cocoa. Very good. Before they start, before they start playing. What are we gonna do? Well, you're gonna, you're gonna, no, 
no, no, I'm so Debbie, get over there. You're gonna, you're no. Gonna, you're yeah, just tell tell us a little bit. No, no, don't. Talk talk into it. Oh, talk into it. It's a microphone. How you doing? 